So we've watched this little bay horse develop over time from his first saddling to his first ride. And today I'm going to be using him to help me start this little sorrel horse. And this sorrel horse is an older horse with limited handling. And what I'm going to do is just have my bay horse hanging out with the reins tied up. He can't get into any trouble. And if he gets worried or nervous, he can move around. And I'll saddle up the sorrel horse here. This is really good for young horses, especially after probably about 30, 60 days, to start getting exposed to other horses moving around and cantering and things like that. The reason being is that we tend to ride horses in a vacuum, um, the round pen being a vacuum. Nothing really happens there outside of our control, which is a good thing as long as we're constantly exposing our horse that we're developing. So my little bay horse, I've saddled up this sorrel, and he's kind of frogging around. So my little bay horse is learning to keep working even though something else is going on. So I'll work on just arcing my horse's nose to the left to getting him to move around my leg comfortably there. A lot of it's reminiscent of our dragging uh, the tarp. It's really the basic stuff that we wanted to work on before. We're just using it in a practical sense. And that's that's really where we go. We Again... Horses are very much so pancakes, not waffles. The syrup gets everywhere. So what we do in one area does affect other areas. And the quality or lack thereof in one area can develop and create problems or success in other areas. So as my sorrel horse gets moving around pretty comfortably, I'll just get ready to pony my colt. And that's real good for my bay horse. I'll keep that rein short again just to work on giving the hips. So if... Um, he got a little uncomfortable. I could just bring him into a one rein stop. It's good for my sorrel horse. He gets somebody working above him and getting him kind of squared away so he can be comfortable with that. And, you know, I can move both of their hindquarters around at the same time. And once things get going along pretty smoothly, it's just a, a great experience for everybody. Everybody looks relaxed here, pretty quiet pretty comfortable. And so instead of it being a scary thing that I would try and avoid, I go in, I gently deal with it, and then at the end of the day, I'm actually getting quite a lot done with my two babies.